Hi, this is Mr. Evans. This video is on differentiation leadership as one of uh, Porter's strategies. Excuse me. Um, and it's the final one that we'll look at. Um, so just to remind you that uh, Porter's generic strategies, Porter uh, suggested that businesses should follow a very clear strategy. It doesn't matter what the market is, if it's cars, if, it, if it's coffee, if it's clothing if it's sportswear whatever your business should follow a particular strategy in terms of the market whether it's focusing on a niche or a mass market uh, and um, what what your source of competitive advantage is is it selling at a low cost or is it uh, differentiating the product porter's key point is that businesses that are confused about what their strategy is or don't follow a clear strategy or are stuck in the middle somewhere um, at this point here may well struggle to um, to survive and uh, by having a clear strategy you can clearly focus your business and you know what your targets are so this is the point of the generic strategies um, differentiation leadership is a strategy of targeting um, a mass market with a differentiated product okay it sounds like a bit of a contradiction in terms how can a product be differentiated for a mass market but um it's a, a strategy that's relatively common as we'll see some companies that you'll be very familiar with nike apple bmw kind of follow this uh, model of di differentiation excuse me differentiation leadership so what does the model require well we're going to need a strong brand image. All of those businesses that we've talked about have, have strong brand images because we're trying to sell a product to a mass market, but we're trying to target premium customers within that. So we need a large group of premium customers willing to pay, a large group of consumers willing to pay a premium price for this strategy to be successful. And the company has to be highly innovative. We're going to be need, needing to invest in huge amounts in market research and research and development in order to know what our customers want and then go ahead and provide customers with that. We want to be innovative, creative, and it can be very expensive to do so. So the benefits of doing this, um, uh, following a differentiation strategy, is that we can benefit from high sa high sales at a premium price. We're selling a lot of units uh, and we're selling them for a premium price, which obviously is a good way of maximizing revenue, that price times quantity uh, formula. Um, this is gonna provide us with a lot of money for reinvestment and further development, uh, which is absolutely crucial for the strategy, of course. Um, and that's because of the high costs incurred. Uh, we're going to be needing to do a lot of market research development and promotion has been mentioned because of course this market is likely to be highly highly competitive you know those premium uh, those customers prepared to pay a premium price everyone got, wants to get their hands on those you know you think of in the mobile phone market Apple and Samsung in the car market BMW um, Mercedes Lexus uh, arguably VW all trying to get their their all trying to get their products to these consumers who are willing to pay a high price for them so although it can be a very rewarding strategy and a very uh, financially rewarding market to be targeting we may need um, uh, we may need um, to reinvest a lot of that money that we earn from our revenues in maintaining our position